Imagine a world where drug discovery, medical research, and patient care are not just significantly improved, but completely transformed. Today, we are standing on the brink of such a revolution with the help of quantum computers. As this new technology emerges, I believe it is important to warn society of its possible negative outcome, but also display the potential benefit it has. But to begin with, what are quantum computers? Quantum computers are not just an upgrade to our current technology. They represent a fundamental shift in how we process information. Traditional computers operate using bits, the smallest unit of data that a computer can process, which are binary. This means they are either zero or one. Quantum computers operate using qubits, quantum bits. These ones leverage on the characteristics of quantum mechanics. Instead of being either zero or one, they can be both zero and one simultaneously. Take a concrete example. If you flip a coin, the result is either heads or tails. In a quantum system, the result could be both heads and tails simultaneously. This new capacity allows computers to do multiple calculations in parallel rather than one at a time. To illustrate this, take this metaphor. If you have 10 doors in front of you, and the answer is behind one of these 10 doors, in a traditional computing system, you would need to open each door one by one. In a quantum computing system, you can open all 10 doors simultaneously. This new capacity is almost as revolutionary as the advent of computers themselves. The applications are so vast, we can't even fully grasp them yet. The speed and efficiency with which quantum computers can analyze massive data sets is a game changer. Take an example, creating new medicine, which currently might take years, could be done in a few minutes. This would mean quicker time to market for new drugs, more personalized medicine, and advancements in various fields like climate science, economics, military technology. Soon, we will be talking about a quantum supremacy because this will reform our way of doing research in science. However, the limits are many and concerns are growing. There are risks of a military or criminal exploitation, risks of a supremacy of a nation or an individual. There are questions of ethics regarding its use, even human adaptation issues, and risks for certain types of jobs. Quantum computers can upend our current cryptographic methods. Algorithms like Shores and Grover's could crack the, the, crack the codes we rely on for data security. In a nutshell, Shor's, arg Shor's algorithm efficiently factors large numbers, compromising encryption, while Grover's algorithm finds target items quicker. Yet this very challenge is pushing us to innovate towards more secure ways to protect our sensitive information. Now, let's take a look in the future of healthcare, a future where quantum computers change a lot of things. Imagine a world where we would be able to analyze complex data or image, giving doctors real-time pinpoint diagnostics, resulting in early disease detection. Take a look at drug discovery and vaccine development. Take a look at COVID-19 a few years ago. The speed at which the vaccine was created was quite impressive. But imagine if we had quantum computers back then, then how many lives would we have saved? Indeed, quantum computers can simulate virtual screenings and predict drug-target interactions. By simulating complex molecular interactions, quantum computers are paving the way for more, for more effective treatments. Quantum computing is also making waves in systems biology. It can model molecules, map out biological pathways. Quantum computers have the capacity of detecting communities within networks, like brain connexomes, for example. This is a key to this is key and leading to breakthroughs in understanding diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. Indeed, imagine having a detailed map of the brain's neural network. Now, let's attack a complex question in systems biology again, predicting how proteins fold. Adiabatic algorithms run by quantum computers are speeding up these predictions, and sorry, <laughs> which is key to understanding the structure of proteins to tackle diseases to their core. Now, think about how high throughput sequencing is producing mountains of data. Quantum computers can sift through this data at a huge speed with the help of quantum support vector machines and neural networks. Indeed, these tools are already showing promises in helping doctors evaluate brain MRIs, predict how certain patients will respond to cancer drugs, and even detecting diseases with uncanny accuracies. Now, picture this scenario. Picture this scenario. 
where analyzing genetic information is done at a huge speed. Indeed, quantum computers can create targeted gene therapies. This means the new norm would be more personalized medicine and treatments targeted to each person's unique DNA. Thus, the potential of quantum computers is mind-blowing. We are on the brink of such a revolution. However, this discovery is still a double-edged sword. Indeed, the security breaches it will permit are quite impressive and concerning for our society. But the future of our medical world and our healthcare system is quite, is quite positive. Indeed, the future is bright and it is powered by quantum computing. Thank you.